Martin was born in a pagan Paris, which is now Hungary, around the year three hundred and sixteen, and was raised in Italy. The son of a Roman officer, he was forced to serve in the army at the age of fifteen. He became a Christian catechumen and was baptized at eighteen. On a cold day, the legend goes, Martin met a poor man, almost naked, trembling, and begged from passerby. Martin had done nothing but weapons and clothes. He drew his sword, cut his cloak into two pieces, and gave one to the beggar. That night, in his sleep, Martin saw Christ dressed in half of the garment he had said, given away, and heard him say, "Martin, still a catechumen, has covered me with his garment." At twenty-three, Martin was disarmed and went to be a disciple of Saint Hilary of Poitiers, France. He was ordained a priest, and after a brief exile, returned to France. Where he lived for ten years, forming his disciples and preaching throughout the countryside. The people of Tours demanded that he became their bishop. He was an ideally good pastor, found other monasteries, and educating the the clergy and preaching the gospel. He died. In thirteen nine, I meant in three in three hundred ninety seven. Saint Martin of Tours' feast day is November eleven. He's a patron saint of the world. O、oh、God, your precious Saint Martin, glorify you by his life and his death. Renew in us your grace, so that neither death nor life can separate us from your love.